what's up this is HD news sorry for a while for not uploading I've been having trouble with this machine and even I had to ask to clean lately I need to clean today as well for uh, we're having parties over for birthdays Saturday evening and there will be some snow apparently and ice Sunday good chance of it so, and it's going to get really cold, so I'm going to have to pay off medical bills, I'm afraid, whenever I get the money and what I owe my parents for, you know, whatever else they gave me here. And then this computer hard drive is apparently getting very, very, very slow. It is getting me just being beach ball of death, and technically it is having trouble. So, it is slowing down. I did a fresh install of Mac OS X, the latest version, and my best options, if I get enough money from, you know, the birthday parties, which I'm sure I will, depending who, you know, who I get it from, there is an SSD external USB, and I know for a fact, and I've done this, I installed Mac OS like recently on a USB drive with a higher speed I'll be able to boot off of it and change the boot disk and, and that'll be like a quick fix not permanent but be only 250 gigs but it'll be 500 megs of read and write and it would do a whole lot better because this machine's having to I even got the CPU mirror right there in the virtual box that runs Linux or whatever else I need so yeah, it's being used apparently a lot on all four cores. It's getting outdated for sure. They don't even sell this model anymore. It's old. And I know I need to have it upgraded. But at the same time, there's so much things that could be done for, like, medical is definitely one I owe probably near 6000 over 6000 from last year's. That cost, and not including a dentist fee of 500 or more that we had to pay off. The bonus I'm getting for free and 14 is going towards that St. Louis doctor who removed the wisdom teeth last year. Who knows how to work on hemophiliacs who have really thin blood like I am and don't usually clot. When you have surgeries or something like that. And he did a good job. Nothing else went wrong. We owe, we owe them a lot. Basically. Several hundred. And including. Not including the. Recent bleed. That occurred last month. On the first day of the year. That's probably over 10 grand of medicine. That my insurance should have covered. Because I got the best plan. For the location where I live. And I'm sure it's not covered, and we still are battling that with that with Aetna and Creo, who actually supplies the medicine to us, ships it to my house, and we get a nurse to infuse it. This is this can go a lot in a lot of years. I could have bad bleeds just about doing nothing. Apparently now it's not as safe as I thought it was, and I thought it was a lot more mild. And apparently it's more like a moderate. Where you can bleed without doing nothing, and you can bleed very colorful, and still have a pretty good bleed. And I'm lucky I didn't lose my vision or hearing or nothing. It's just a wake up call that I need to take care of my health, I need to save money because this ain't going to be cheap, regardless of either direction for this machine or my health to pay off medical, including living costs. and they're even planning, our state's even planning to have a five cent fee for each bag that you buy at a store that you use. They're planning to pass that. They passed the minimum wage hike to 15 an hour. So, even recently, I got a bill from New Wave. They basically messed up on their part when they signed us up for this house for internet only. They were charging me ten fifty a month for a modem fee when technically I own my own and I didn't need it. So they reimbursed me all the money and the bill only ended up being twenty one dollars. 
for this month. So it's only a one-time thing. Instead of 45 or 55 or 60 I would pay, it ended up being a lot cheaper. And so I'm apparently messed up. And you got to watch them because they can really put fees on there. And I reviewed it. I will, review, I will look at next month whenever it comes out. They're redoing the billing system for this location. So technically, they're not monitoring data at the moment. They will. And, you know, if you go over 100 gigs, over your gig, you got to pay 10 bucks per 100 gigs until you hit the 50 yard mark of extra charge. And then after that, you got to up your plan. So, or you pay unlimited $40 a month extra to your bill that makes your plan unlimited. And they don't count data. It's just the same speed, just unlimited data. I think that's kind of, I think it just should be included for every um, plan for internet. It's a separate, you know, you know, a combination to save some money. You know, that's how they are. And a lot of people didn't like cable one, and I went either. I mean, the wave was a lot better before they were bought out. They were. So far, I haven't got the fees like my parents had. They usually get, for them, for cable, TV, basically, and internet. TV and internet, they had to pay, like, over 300 bucks a month for New Wave. And that's pretty expensive as a family. And then the, the phone costs for all the phones is over 300 a month. Because my mom, cracked, my mom cracked her screen on her iPhone, old one, and had to get a new one, so went up quite a bit so my phone I seen those dislikes those comments and I decided you know they're not worth being on the channel because it's just it's just mean you know I'm a nice guy I, I won't even think about saying that you know it's just how I am I'm more I think twice before I do something like that and some of those comments I read in the last six months or more well they were all deleted by me because I didn't really approve them. And some were really bad and I would not like and the YouTube changing YouTube's changing their policies and things like that. And I am be monitoring it from now on, checking comments when I can. If I need to, I'll take action and delete a comment or more. If all are bad, I'll delete all. It's a fair chance. It's being fair, you know, I'm trying not to cause any stir up or anything else. I'm a good YouTuber on the internet and being proud of my work and I was literally getting like 50% dislikes and 50% likes at times it seems like but you know the iPhone video um, that phone's actually messing up it's actually having battery trouble it we can't afford it but when I can get money and my parents can actually Spend some money on a new phone. They all actually buy me a new phone and replace the outdated phone that apparently is having trouble with the battery slash hardware. Different parts of the thing may not be working right. Who knows? I've also been known to have really bad out, really bad hardware lately. You know, with their uh, their MacBook Pros not working, and you know, from a couple of years ago with the, the ribbon cable with the display and. Or iPhones and I'm ripping them off, the customers off, the genius centers. And the only place I would probably have to go if I wanted to make a, I would have to make an appointment, of course, in St. Louis. And and have my parents drive there, and that was not the option. I was going to get ripped off, and they've been ripping people off lately. I've been, I look every time. And there's been cases of people getting ripped off, serious money. And Apple is a company that should know better. And and when I can't afford it, I'm going away from Mac. Because, you know, Apple, there's so many computers. There's even that one guy who repairs them in New York. And they even sent notices to stop the shipment of batteries. And it's like, you replace one thing on the phone that's not authorized by Apple, and the phone doesn't work ever update. So, you know, they had too much control on their side. And now they're trying to release a flippable phone. I just saw that Samsung phone, that new flippable $2,000. You know you can do it $2,000? You can buy a lot more in this computer for sure. Yeah.
$2,000 for a flippable phone. I think they, I think I'll think twice before I actually spend that much. It's worth it because it ain't gonna last, you know, like every other phone. And some of the components are from Samsung, you know, from Apple. So, you know, some a lot of devices from different companies got Samsung components in them. So, you know how they are. I had one, I think, one time. Maybe I did. Yeah, but I think I all did in the screen when I think I had a Pixel. Dead pixels eventually, and it was one of those cheap, affordable phones back then. And, uh, several years, probably like 10 years ago or more. And it, they don't last, you know. So I think Apple needs to change their way. They don't have, even their micro pros are overheating, as I've seen in reports on like the internet all the time. It's like, I'm glad I didn't buy one of those because I hate those things. Because this is how they treat their customers. You know, they're not treating them fairly. They're overcharging them for things and not doing repairs correctly. I think like Best Buy is still in the same boat as well with their products and how they repair things. And they took they they took cameras, made cameras, and yeah, they're not technically a good repair shop at times. They'll actually not do the job correct. I mean, I heard stories about it on on YouTube and the web and. It's technically not good. And I respect better quality from Apple products, especially when they over time fail. I mean, I have a phone that's going to fail eventually. It already is. I can't go very far without having it plugged in because it just doesn't last. The battery just does. Sometimes the battery can't even supply the power and it has to shut down. Just how it is. It's the truth. Being honest with you guys, these devices are not worth the money to spend. And a lot of people are saying, stay off of these new devices because they're not worth it. You know, these people running pits and graphic cards and things like that because, you know, they're brand new. They're going to have some problems, of course. But, you know, that's how it is. These devices may have some issues until they're fixed. I don't think that either because <laughs> I don't have the money. So, if you're the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment and like them below. See how you know like it, but just if you comment too much bad comments, I'm gonna have to disable them, I'm afraid. But whatever. Thanks for watching.